So as you can probably tell, I did not want to get up this morning. Same girl, same. And I had a full on dyspraxic moment this morning where I literally couldn't figure out how to put my jumper on and it was just so infuriating, but I got there in the end. I was actually visiting my mum and dad over the weekend, so there's my dad. <laughs> and luckily he made me a coffee. I've got to be quiet because my mum's still asleep, but I need to pack and I don't know if anyone else finds this, but like I am so bad at packing, like I always forget something. I mean, I'm going back home today, but I always leave something. <sighs> you don't want to watch that, I don't think, so I'll just come back when it's done. Okay, so I am packed um, to go, um, and I'm gonna hop in the shower now. Um, so I always like to make a little bit of an effort for travelling. I feel like it helps me not feel as tired and be more alert. It's a psychological thing. So I am all packed and dressed. Yeah, I've got this cute little bun going on, which I think is adorable. My mum has given me this tangerine jumper, which I love. Yeah, my train is in two hours, so in about an hour, we'll probably set off because I like to get there early so that I can use the lifts and make sure that I'm ready and comfortable and basically in the access part of the train. So um, I'm feeling a bit short of breath today my chest is hurting so this might be a bit tough going through central london but i've got my stick if i need it so i got to the train station early so i popped into the range to get some bracelet making supplies and then i headed to the station i'm not gonna lie i love being like all the way down the platform so that nobody's near me because like i'm a social media girly but i'm not like always brave enough to film in public so um obviously being alone it helps to just kind of chat organically um but yeah really early for my train as per but i wouldn't have it any other way because when you're disabled you just need that like leeway like on good days nothing bad will happen and on bad days they'll forget to put you on the train yeah you know also can we appreciate like hello spring we've been waiting for you hey tay tay i'm actually gonna take my stick out because I sometimes don't get to my seat in time and then I become really unbalanced on the train. I couldn't film on the train because it was so busy and I'm not that confident. <laughs> but I made it to London in one piece and that's all you need to know. I headed to the underground where somebody refused to move up the priority seat even though they said they didn't need it. So that was fun but nothing new, nothing new here so. I picked myself some top tier autism food up. Um, checked my train and then decided that I had time so I'm going to walk around the bookshop and not buy anything But I like looking at them Then it was time to get my train and I managed to get the priority seat this time which was fabulous um, And then I took some heavy duty painkillers because I was in a lot of pain at this point um, And drifted into nothingness Get yourself a girl that has Eras Tour supplies in her bag Two hours later and I had arrived home after a six hour journey this is Lexi, my baby. I just got in such a long journey and I'm gonna read and probably go to sleep now. Thanks for coming along and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.